house. I'm thinking about making a nice dinner for Peter. Well, he's been working really hard and we're actually expecting to hear back about the project today. Yeah, I know. We're just in a slow patch right now, but this new one's amazing. You're really gonna love it. Yeah, his health is doing so much better. He's actually almost all done with the medications and all the injections and as soon as we hear back about this manuscript, we should be all set. Mm -hmm. Hey dad, I'll call you back. Hey honey, how'd it go? Yeah, hey love you, bye. They say yes? This isn't real. It's as real as ever. You've just been trying to forget about me. Did it work? I can't do this right now. Well, this is long overdue. We both know this is coming. You need me. I don't need you. I didn't need you. So you sell a couple of stories, make a nice little down payment, and now you don't need me? Where did all those stories come from, Peter? From me, not from you. And yet, nothing has sold since we stopped talking. You're right. Deadbeat writer dragging his wife down into a living hell. Shut up. By the way, how's your wallet doing? There's no point dwelling on this. I can't change that. I can change it. Oh, we're going to love this. We're going to love what? An education. Better life. No more medical bills for all those injections. How? How much? Is her life worth? Is it worth that life insurance you can barely afford? You mean kill my wife? Why do you say things like that? What's wrong with you? Not her, Peter. No. No, I can't think like that. I, I wouldn't even know how to go about it. Oh, sure you would. You know your murder mysteries. Tell us about Dorothy Sayers. You know the one I'm talking about, the one you read in seventh grade right before we started talking? A natural death? Yes, a natural death, you ink-stained, miserable wretch. What was the murder weapon? A syringe. A syringe with what? With nothing. Nothing but oxygen you just pumped into the bloodstream from an empty syringe. Even an autopsy wouldn't reveal what happened. No, I... I can't do that to her. Can't do what to her? Can't keep your promise? Get out of my head. Can't help her go back to school and get that degree she always wanted? Wake up! You're better off dead than alive. This is the best thing for her. I said get out! You can get rid of me for a little while, but I'm always here in the shadows. We're inseparable. What about my sister? My friends? What about them? Let's face it, when was the last time they called you? How long do you think it'll take for them to forget about you? And the best part about all this is, when it's all over, you wake up. Black. No editors. No debt. No worries. Just be in comfortable darkness. Like sleep. Early? I didn't sleep much. I have a good feeling about today's book. I do too.